It's been about 200 hours of protest encampments at George Washington University. Protests over the conflict in the Middle East is in its ninth day on that campus. DC News Now's Leonard and Fleming has the latest. This is what student protesters say campus police did to them overnight. Cut the rope to this flagpole so that no other flags can be flown here. But GW students say they're not going to be deterred. On Thursday, two Palestinian flags flew high on these university poles that once hoisted American and George Washington flags. Early Friday morning, they were gone. Students in the encampment tell DC News Now they were removed by university police. And it's just really disappointing that they're willing in to send in force rather than just sit down and come to the table with students. Pro-Palestinian protester Selena al Shababi says police have become more confrontational. It's just disappointing to see. It's disappointing that the university again uh, will just not come to the table and negotiate. They're just going to take the flag down. Friday marks day nine in the protest by GW students who were joined by other universities around D.C. Reem Lababdi, a GW protester, says police removing the flags or taking away electrical power in the U-yard will not stop demonstrators' goal of university divestment from Israel. We are we are steadfast in our goal. We, we've been taking care of each other. We're, we're well fed, we're well slept, and we, we have the energy to keep going. Aaron Shemtoff is part of Chabad, a Jewish student advocacy group on campus. Putting up a flag that the university says you cannot put up is clear violation. Putting up posters without the university's consent is a clear violation of university. Student protesters say they are going to be here until the university divests from Israel or they get arrested, which they are prepared for down the line. Reporting from George Washington University, Leonard N. Fleming, DC News Now, back to you.